Although the progressives were mainly concerned with providing bare treatment and suitable living conditions to the fellow human beings through the use of Social and Industrial Justice Act. They also might have sympathized with animals who were being treated poorly during those times. Now that a considerable amount of humans in the United States are able to provide for themselves and their families, it is time to turn our attention to the tortured, abused, and neglected animals of our country. Animal cruelty is not just an animal problem, but a people problem as well. The intentional mistreatment of animals tends to be a precursor to harmful acts against humanity. The FBI noticed a trend starting in the 1970s that most serial killers have a tendency to torture animals during their childhood for a variety of different reasons. To control the animal, retaliate against the animal, satisfy a prejudice against a specific species, express aggression through an animal, enhance one's own aggressiveness, shock people for amusement, or to retaliate against another person. Studies show that parental alcoholism and or severe paternal violence is often the origin of these sadistic actions. While this is certainly devastating for the animal being tortured, mutilated, or abused, it can equally be devastating for the human population as a whole. It also becomes a significant threat to society when animals are mistreated or bred to be aggressive. Even when they are taught to fight other animals, such as pit bulls attacking other pit bulls in dog fights, the skills they learned that caused them to react to seemingly dangerous situations can easily be applied to humans if the animal feels threatened. This not only jeopardizes the safety of humans, but also the safety of animals, because the animal will most likely be put down even though its intentions were never to be harmful. Because any form of animal abuse causes harm to both animals and human beings, we believe that it is something that needs to be addressed by taking drastic measures if necessary. We propose the Autumn Green Abbey Moor or AGAM law, which will ensure the protection of America's animals through the following means. For animal neglect, which is defined as failing to meet the basic needs of the pet, the offender will be guilty of a misdemeanor under U.S. law and will be required to put in 50 hours of community service caring for animals at his or her local animal shelter under the supervision of an experienced animal care expert. He or she will also be required to pay a $100 fine. If the offender is a minor, he or she will be required to put in the same amount of community service and also attend an educational course that covers animal care basics. For an offense that involves torturing an animal where the animal is harmed but does not die, the offender will be guilty of a felony under U.S. law and will be sentenced to six months in prison and will be required to pay a $1,000 fine. If the offender is a minor, he or she will be sent to a juvenile detention center for six months and upon their release they will be required to put in 100 hours of community service. For an offense that involves the torturing and killing of an animal, the offender will be guilty of a felony under U.S. law and will be sentenced to one year in prison and will be required to pay a $2,500 fine. If the offender is a minor, he or she will be sent to a juvenile detention center for one year and upon their release they will be required to put in 200 hours of community service. If an offender commits any of these offenses more than once, he or she will forfeit the right to own a pet for the remainder of their lives. In addition, the offenders will serve lengthier jail times to be determined by a judge's discretion. We believe that the AGAM law will bring attention to the devastating issue of animal cruelty and will significantly reduce animal cruelty